Hey, this is Mike. Just got in this 2015 Dodge Charger. Now, this is the, the body style that's changed quite significantly. They changed everything except for the rear doors and the roof. Um, it, I mean, it's similar to the previous models, but the front and back have very, very different look. Now, these are the new aluminum wheel design that they have for the 15s. Uh, a couple of the 14s had them on the, on the, the tail end there, but um, it's, a, it's a polished aluminum with like a black graphite inserts there. Now, when I say insert, I'm, I mean, this, this wheel does not have any kind of plastic on it. It's just solid metal. It's not a plastic clad or anything like that. And you can see it still has that dished out uh, accent there on the side. It's not quite as prominent as the previous years, I don't think. But um, the slope here in the back, it's a little bit more sloped. But I think it's a sharp looking car. I was a little skeptical when I first saw that, like pictures and stuff of, of the front end and the rear end of this car. But um, seeing it in person, it looks pretty sharp. Now, the, it has a different fog light too. It's got like a, like a three LED type fog light. And the headlights are, of course, totally different. They, have, they do have the projector headlight. And um, they do have a, like a, a white uh, accent, sort of like a halo light, but it goes around about halfway. I'll try to do a video at nighttime so you can see what I'm talking about. Has some designs there, dished out places there on the hood too. You see the side marker here lights up which I'll, I'll, I'll try to make a nighttime video because it's hard to see during the day but anyway this one um, has remote start so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up this vehicle has five miles on it by the way so or it had five miles or what was one test drive done done today so it might be a little bit more now back here you can see it has dual exhaust now this is the RT so it has the 5.7 liter Hemi and um, so with the dual exhaust there it also has the, the parking sensors here in the back it has a backup camera and let's go ahead and open up the trunk I can open up the trunk using the key here or I can push this button here as long as I have the key with me, that button will work. So here's the trunk, it has plenty of room. And the back seats do fold down just in case you need more extra room. It does come with this net so you can secure your cargo. This uh, lifts up. Oops. This lifts up here, and this is where you'll find your battery, uh, fuse box, and also a spare tire, which is a compact spare tire, but it's better than no spare tire. And you'll notice the spoiler is flat, lays flat on the back of the car. And like I said, this is more of a sloped fastback design here in the back. So let me open the doors by putting my hand here. The key's in my pocket, so I just put my hand here on the, on the driver's door and it unlocks all the doors. So I can open up this door. And here's the inside of the rear door. You've got like stitching going on here. And it's like a leather look. Stitching there. You've got a nice comfortable handle where you put your hand there. It's real comfortable. And you've got pockets down there. Uh, power window. It's not going to work now because I did not push the button in the front yet. But there's the power window. Leather seats uh, perforated here in the middle. And here. And these are heated seats, by the way, back here. You can see the heated seat controls there, low and high. Plus, you have USB ports. Um, these are just for charging. Then you got um, you know, the rear vents. This is kind of like an armrest, I guess you can say. But it also has a little storage pocket and cup holders. And it folds up out of the way when you don't want it. Real high 
high quality, high end seats. Um, it seems like they've upped the quality and the, the look and everything on the 15s. On the interior. You've got your little shark fin antenna there. This one does have a sunroof. Heated side mirrors. Which that's pretty much all cars have that now. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You have your presets here for your power seat. It will recognize each key individually too. You got your pretty good sized pockets there, a little bit bigger than the back. Um, uh, your door lock controls, power window controls, your front or auto, one touch auto uh, windows. The rears, you have to hold them down. Side mirrors, um, you can adjust them there. Has automatic headlights. And the power seat also has lumbar support, which you can adjust, um, you know, like in and out and also up and down. So you can kind of get that, get the right spot. Now here's your dimmers. And one is for the, the gauges, the other one is for your ambient light, which I'll uh, make a nighttime video to show you off that. Before I go inside, let me push this button here and open up the fuel cap. I want to show you it is a capless design. It has this rubber thing there and uh, to kind of like cup over it to protect, protect it but there's no cap there. If you need to use like a gas can there is a little funnel in the back of the car um, to, uh, to put in there so you can use a gas can. Alright, so here's your steering wheel. Here's a leather wrapped steering wheel with stitching. It has little grip bumps there. And I think like Chargers and Challengers, my opinion anyway, I think all of them should just have a flat bottom steering wheel. Some of them do, but why not just go ahead and put a, uh, put them on all of them. That's, that's what I say. Anyway, this one's got the cruise control on this side. And um, on this side, You've got your Bluetooth, your voice recognition buttons here. Basically, the, the Bluetooth, you can answer, once you fair, pair your Bluetooth phone, you can answer the calls and, send, and make and receive calls with these buttons there. The voice recognition, you can tune to certain stations, you can call people, you can put in a certain address for the navigation, and it'll kind of, you know, it, it does a really good job of recognizing your voice, unlike uh, previous model voice recognition cars. Now on the back of the steering wheel we have a paddle shifter here and here and this is so you can um, shift the gears manually um, if you want to get a desired gear you can put it in sport mode and it'll kind of you know give you uh, it'll hold the shift points longer and different things like that but if you really want to get some uh, some control there the the paddle shifters are one thing you also have a, a way of doing that with the shifter which I'll show you in a minute but just below, below the paddle shifter is a volume button. So I can turn the volume up on the radio. I can also change to the stations on this side of the steering wheel. So I can change through it. There's your windshield wipers. And uh, since I use remote start, you can see right here it says remote start active push start button. And what it's referring to is this little button here. So I'm going to go ahead and push that. That kind of turns everything on. Um, before it was just kind of the engine was running, but it's not drivable and most of the features are kind of locked out So now Right now it's showing the speedometer and in the center there We do have the rpms on this side. It's a little bit of a glare And then on this side we've got your speedometer, but in the middle you've got a digital speedometer and uh, You know your gas gauge is here on the right and the temperatures on the left it does have, it shows it's got an 80 mile range. Now that's a little skewed because the vehicle has very low mileage and it's a lot of idling sitting here. So um, that's kind of the reason for that. Um, it'll get more than 80 miles and have a tank, but just to give you an idea. Now outside temperature, 57 degrees. It feels warmer in here, but that's because the sun's shining directly on me. But this 
right where it says speedometer, I'm going to go ahead and use these buttons here, and I'm going to navigate through that just to kind of show you. Right now it sets a speedometer, so I'm going to push the down arrow, and now I'm going to go into vehicle info. Now this is showing the the, the temp, I mean not the temperature, the pressure in each tire right now. So in this vehicle info screen, I can push to the right, and I can get all kinds of different pressures and temperatures uh, on the vehicle. Even tells me when to change oil. And it scrolls back there. All right, so I'm going to scroll down again. This is the fuel economy. Uh, right now, uh, like I said, the fuel economy is skewed because of the low miles and the stuff like that. But this is where it will kind of show you what you're you're averaging. I can push to the right, and um, let's see here. Okay, all right. Let me. This is your average. This is current. It'll give you a current, like in the moment, what you're getting right here on the top right. That was, that's what that's about. All right, trip info. Now this is pretty cool because it's not just a mileage trip. It also has a timer and also a. Um, a miles per gallon average on your trip. This is just telling me what the radio is doing on number five. Number six is messages. Anything um, like say time to change the oil or even if it, like a turn signal is out it'll kind of tell you in this messages. Uh, screen setup. This is where you can change uh, what you want and the, the information that you have automatically as default in the corners there. And then it scrolls back to speedometer. So I mean, it's it has a uh, pretty good look to it. I like the 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 way the numbers look. It looks like a sport, you know, kind of a sporty look. Dashboard is looks about the same as the previous year. It does have like a a black, but it's not shiny. It does not reflect uh, light in your face like some cars. But this is kind of like a. Um, Real grippy and soft to the touch. A lot of the soft, a lot of soft to the touch stuff in this car. Um, pretty much everything soft except for, uh, like, say, right here. That's kind of hard, and uh, right there is hard. And this is, um, you know, the, the places where you kind of don't want it soft. So, all right. So here's your. Um, this is the 8.4 UConnect system. And this one has a navigation already installed. Some of them you can have them upgraded if you want, but this one already has it. So right now we're in the radio icon, and you see what uh, channel we're on, and it has AM, FM, satellite radio. You can adjust the audio and all that good stuff. If I push the media icon, this shows me uh, there's different inputs, which I'll show you in a second. Um, you can basically plug in a USB auxiliary, SD card or even play music off of a Bluetooth device like your phone or something wirelessly and this is where you control those devices controls this is where you see your um, you know your heated and ventilated seats as well as your heated steering wheel and um, and that's there that's on here on the front the rear seats are heated but not cooled climate uh, this is where basically you have some climate buttons down here but these are some little bit extra here uh, you, you can control your fan speed, your temperature, and you can sync both of them to where you can make it. They're both go up at the same time if you want to. And where you want the air to blow, that kind of stuff. Navigation, um, basically you can put in an address. Uh, it's a, it is a Garmin system, so let's see. Uh, this is what the map looks like. But you can also, you know, like put in a specific address and uh, different points of interest. You can save your home address and all that good stuff. Phone. Uh, once you pair your phone, it will, your all this will kind of light up. Right now it's kind of blacked out. This is where you'll find your phone book, recent calls, and, um, you know, make calls with a, a dial pad there. You can also transfer the call back to your cell phone if you want to uh, have a private conversation apps uh, a lot of cool stuff here you do have to register this um, and and then that way uh, you because there's some of the services that are paid sort of like uh, Wi-Fi hotspot there but now travel link you do get that for five years if I'm not mistaken and this is really cool it has lots of different uh, real-time information like your weather and stuff but one of my favorites is fuel prices 
and if you're this is especially helpful if you're in an area that you're not familiar with you can find the nearest gas station which it's sorted by distance now you can sort it by price if you want to save a few pennies and let's say you do and you find this um, this gas station here you want to drive to two miles to get to the gas station you don't really know where it is so you just hit go now and it'll take you to the navigation it'll take you take you right to it you can also hit there once your phone's paired and call the place and just ask them if you know if they have any particular thing you're looking for but basically the screen you know you have your icons here at the bottom and you kind of just go through and choose the ones you want it's really intuitive and easy to use once you get uh, the hang of it it only takes a few minutes to really um, to really understand the flow of it it's not very hard and uh, so down here this has a back button so let's say um, I mean climb it I can hit the back button like I said you kind of have to go into something uh, let's see here recent all right, so I can hit the back button now, and it'll take me back to that screen. So once you're in a home screen, it's already there, but once you get into something, it'll take you back out of it. Sport mode, um, when you push the sport mode, a little checkered flag pops up here, and basically it just em take, makes the car emphasize uh, everything to the, the highest performance possible with the, the vehicle. Uh, when the sport mode is not on, it gives you the best performance, I mean the best fuel economy, basically. The parking sensors in the back, you can turn them off here, uh, just in case you need to back up and you know you're going to get close to something. You can also, this vehicle has traction control, and just turning on the vehicle, it automatically turns on. If you want to turn that off and do donuts and spin tires, you can turn it off if you want. These dials are your, your volume and your tune through the stations, just like a normal radio. In addition to the buttons on the steering wheel, you can use these. You also have the redundant... Um, buttons down here for your climate which is is very useful because in case you don't want to go to the climate screen you can also you can always change the uh, the screen the, the the climate controls down here so down here is a nice pocket there and a um, and a power supply and it's in a good location it's out of the way and here's a little spot here to just kind of set something maybe a small cell phone or change or whatever just happens to be in your hand when you get in the car and uh, here's a shifter now this is an awesome shifter uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse so you can see what the backup camera looks like and in addition to the backup camera you also have a your parking sensors pop up here and if you get close to something it's gonna warn you with a visual indicator as well as an audio indicator so pulling it down in the neutral there and going back down the drive there now if I want to I can slide it over and now I can use it as a ratchet shifter so basically right now it says M1 right here so I'm in first gear I can pull it down second gear now it's not gonna let you go any f too far out of range um, but you can basically do a lot with this the shifter as far as uh, manually shifting through the gears and if you want to just you know go back to normal automatic you just slide it back to the right and now it's back and drive really cool feature really comfortable and sporty looking shifter I really like it because um, it's kind of like a, the, the actual ratchet shifters from back in the day there's your cup holders now they are illuminated which I'll show you that at night time and um, there's a little door that closes up I guess to keep I'm not sure keep stuff from falling in there or if it's got crap in there you can cover it up now here's your armrest um, this lifts up and there's 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 a couple things about it one is this the storage space it has this little tray here but also you've got these uh, this is where your auxiliary inputs are you do have a, a power supply down there but you also have a SD card USB and auxiliary inputs and that's what that's where you would play music off of those devices glove compartment really big glove compartment it is felt lined there at the bottom and you do have little shelves there so um, you kind of keep everything separated this is your rear view mirror now this car does have a cellular connection so you can push 911 and it'll dial 911 even if you don't have a phone paired you can push that and you can talk to uh, like roadside assistance it is an auto dim rear view mirror as well 
and uh, here is your um, place to put your sunglasses you got a tap light now this is more of a spotlight this is a floodlight garage doors this is your home link uh, garage door openers you'd have to pair them with your garage door and it does have a self uh, a, a sunroof which does have like a manual shade that you can close up and the controls for it are right here so you can open it up open it up and all that good stuff and you can close it up if you want now here's the visor it has a little mirror and lights it has a little side visor there I guess to kind of help with um, keeping the light out of your eyes and um, basically it slides too it kind of slides out and so you can get that you know put it on the side and get that right spot same thing on that side really awesome interior and the seats just scream quality and they're very comfortable went on a test drive this morning the customer was like man these are comfortable seats all right so let's um let's look underneath the hood it is There it is, 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. And it's got a big plastic cover over the engine. They don't want you to see an awesome engine. They want to cover it up. <laughs> don't really care for that, but hey, some people like it. If you have any questions I'll do my best to answer them and if you have any clarifications or um, anything to add let me know leave it in the comments and if you could help me out and share this video with some friends or anybody that you think might be interested in any car videos um, everybody's gonna buy a car eventually so um, just let them know I'm gonna try to do my best on these videos to give to make them as useful as possible for you so if there's any uh, recommendations um, I'll try to implement those the best I can. Alright, thanks for watching. See you next time.